Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to do a quick video today on what I think is a really cool tool available out there. Um, and what this is specifically is the WebView 2 um, library. So essentially what this is, this is an X control um, of the WebView2.net control. So um, if you have like Microsoft Edge installed on your computer, which if you're using Windows, this is installed by default. Um, you can essentially embed your web browser um, into this .NET control so you can put it on like a LabVIEW front panel. Um, you can also do some other cool stuff, right? So you can execute JavaScript. Um, you can, you know, uh, programmatically kind of navigate, control things, send messages, um, etc. So, um, just wanted to kind of show, this is actually one of the examples that ships with it, uh, but just wanted to highlight kind of what this looks like. Um, so we just have this uh, WebView 2 control, which, whoops, um, yeah, actually is just this, you know, it shows up like a string, um, but it really is an X control, so much, much, most of the functionality is already kind of built into it for you. Um, so yeah, we're going to use this uh, initialize core method to start out. Um, so you know, by default, right, these uh, DLLs are already going to be loaded into memory, so we don't need to do any overrides. But if we do need to override, right, we're uh, just looking in data folder where DLLs typically are. Um, this paths is just reading out the paths, so. Uh, you'll see here where WebView 2 native is, Edge application, user data, etc. Just so we can see where that stuff um, is being used. And then we're going to register for, for events. Um, we're going to pull all of those events. So there's a few different events out there. Um, a, we have a navigation complete event, which just basically says, you know, if you were trying to go to a URL, this lets us know once we've actually made it to that URL. Um, there's also this navigation started event, so we can see when we've started moving to a new uh, page. Um, we've got this source changed event, so that way, you know, if the user's on a web page and they click on some button or some link or something on that web page, this will trigger this event. Um, in this case, we're just, you know, showing a new URL. Um, document title changed, so if we change basically the, the, you know, if we go to a URL that changes the document title, this will change the front panel title to match. And a status bar text change. So if that changes, we get that status as well. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of buttons here. So we can do stuff like if we click go, we're going to pass in the URL to our WebView 2 control. And it's going to take us to that uh, website. Um, if we hit reload, it's going to call this reload method, which just refreshes the page, basically. Um, if we click back, it's going to call this go back method um, to take us back to where we were last. Um, forward, obviously, goes forward if we can go forward um, once we've gone back. Um, stop, we're just stopping this loop. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Um, really simple to work with. Um, so I'm just going to kind of demo this so I can run my application. Um, so this default URL is just ni.com. So let's hit go and let's go to ni.com. So you can see um, we basically load an embedded version of um, this website. And I can also go, I can navigate with this. You can see the status updates as I, you know, mouse over different things. I can click on something and it navigates to this new URL. Um, lets me know when navigation is complete. I can check on this. You see that turns back off. Once this page is done loading all the way, this will go true. Um, I can hit reload and basically refresh the page. Um, I can hit back and it take me back. I can hit forward, take me forward. So uh, basically just a way you can just navigate um, 
the internet, right? So I can embed basically a web browser into my front panel, which can be helpful for a lot of different things. So if I have some sort of web page that I want people to be able to get to, but I don't necessarily want to open up a browser, this is a good way to do it. Um, I've also used this as well for PDFs. So um, PDFs can be opened up in this as well. So just instead of passing in um, like a URL, like we're doing here, um, just take a path and then use the path to string function and then just pass in the path to the that PDF file and it will open the PDF up in this. So that way you have, you can kind of embed PDFs, you can embed web pages, you can, any, you know, anything that you can open in your web browser, you can open with this, which is really cool. Um, and, you know, it navigates quickly and efficiently and, um, yeah, you can do anything you can do on the internet pretty much with this. So really cool tool. Um, like I said, it is just this uh, WebView 2 by Skleen. Um, um, but yeah, um, one thing I did notice when I build um, executables with this, just to be aware, um, it does automatically include two WebView DLLs that are necessary to um, run this in the runtime environment. Um, there's a third one that's a WebView 2 loader that I've found that it doesn't automatically include. Um, so I've had to go and add that myself manually. And then it's worked great in executables. Um, so um, just one thing I've noticed, one bit of caution, um, it does t um, load the two automatically, but the WebView 2 loader doesn't seem to automatically be included. So I have to go find it and include it with my build. Um, but after that, everything works great. So um, yeah, really cool tool. Um, you can do a lot of cool things um, and you can make, you know, navigate the web and no one actually knows that this isn't necessarily part of your LabVIEW application. So really cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's helpful um, to someone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Canon Controls is your gateway to mastering LabVIEW. Dive into programming for data acquisition, industrial communications, and manufacturing automation. Explore how to enhance your projects with cybersecurity best practices. Join the journey to elevate your skills and secure your systems with every episode.